All right, another guy coming back uh, that, that hasn't been playing all year, Julian Edelman, returning Thursday night at home versus the Colts. So you plug in Julian. I've, I mean, I think I think this team desperately needs him. Uh, I mean, perfectly I, said. I just, team desperately that, needs him. He's going to come back. There's and been like, a ton of people uh, saying that he's washed and all this other stuff, which. Uh, may, maybe he isn't quite the Julian Edelman that we once knew, but there's there still should be plenty of volume in his direction, and he should be able to get you Brady uh, have a nice PPR floor. Brady with what's can't going wait on. to throw to Scott. Above. Hogan can't wait to get the hell out of the slot and move back to his normal position and just take a lot of pressure off everybody else. You're finally seeing Sony Michelle in this last game. I mean, they just obliterated the Dolphins. Sure. You saw him kind of take a step forward and be kind of a lead dog running back. The person that hurts maybe Edelman coming back the most is, is a James White in this situation with just that great PPR floor. I don't think there's any reason to be pulling James White from your lineups. Well, no, but you've seen, I mean, soon, a, each and every snap, James White's out there playing wide receiver if he's right. not in the backfield. So, yeah, you bring in a J- Julian Edelman and it just gives them what it gives them a, a wide receiver, the best one they got. So, the answer for me is if I have him, obviously, if I have a, just like you were saying with the running backs with Ingram, if you have a stacked uh, lineup here where, you know, you, there's no way that, that you've been floating on cloud nine without him. Sure. Then, you, you know, you're Good not, for you. you're not you fighting. Just, you're not fighting to get him in the lineup. But if you're, double, if you're in a like, kind of double flex situation or three three wide receiver start and your third wide receiver isn't hasn't been great uh, and it's PPR. I mean, this is a guy that I don't see any reason not to throw him right back in the lineup. I know uh, Zach Reed of the Dynasty Dummies has been a big uh, proponent of, of Julian Edelman and trying to uh, get him on your teams through this period of yes, yeah, good of call him. by Zach, great call uh, by Zach, I, I, absolutely, hundred percent. And I, I'm, I'm in. There's not a whole lot of guys that like I didn't fire. I was telling everybody in the sit starts, don't don't play Alshon Jeffrey this week if he blows sure. up on your bench. Great, don't play Doug Baldwin this week if he blows up on your bench. Great, yeah. Tommy and Edelman, he's a, it's a PED suspension, right? It's not exactly. Exactly. That's what that's what I was about to say. I was I'm right there with you. Yeah. Oh, it's getting close to a we, meatloaf. You were sitting, season meatloaf. meatloaf. You were sitting out, Sean, to see what happened, and you couldn't have been happier about seeing him come out and dominate. And there you go. But yes, it's not an injury for Edelman. It's the suspension he went and got on some good stuff, and he's probably coming in jacked up, ready to go. Hopefully, um, he doubled I, down on it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hope he got another got another round in. I'm plugging in Edelman. Right after and you get popped, you might as well just take it. Zero hesitation. Round. I forgot to say this real quick about Mark Ingram. Did y'all see he met the team at the airport. This yeah. man is jacked up, ready to go. I got no hesitations putting in Mark Ingram and Julian Edelman. Like, did you need to meet us at the airport? Ah, good for him. Good for He's him. He's been in the doghouse for yeah. so long. He yeah. probably brought him donuts. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. Well, if he showed up with one of the coach's wives, that's bad. Oh. Yeah. But <laughs> the windows were tinted. The That's windows were hilarious. tinted. You couldn't even see her in the car. The windows yeah, were tinted. Yeah, presidential tint. <laughs> yeah. Good tint job. <laughs> Great tint job. Mark Ingram and Coach's Wives goes back Paid really extra. far on Paid this, extra uh, for that. He got shunned podcast. for a while for that. Yeah, it's a long run. Last year, unshunned. Inside joke. Yep. Needed him. That Who's next? next? Maybe they got divorced or something. And they let Mark Ingram ride last year, and that's what we're hoping and expecting to happen this year. I want to say that, Jay Wayne, we, we used to meet some meatloaf clips here and there. We've been, uh, since we started this podcast, we've, every year we've done a mid-season meatloaf, and that's how I define my seasons. It's what happened pre-meatloaf, <laughs> what happened post-meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> meatloaf. Is a huge fantasy football guy. If you haven't seen or heard any of the clips of him talking about his fantasy football addiction or his love for fantasy football, yeah. that's what spawned this. Look right. for that mid-season of the fantasy good. football season. We do it every year. We just crush all the breaks, all the intros, everything with meatloaf. We give you some fun meatloaf facts. Yeah, and I can't wait for it. We're we're a quarter of the way to pre meatloaf, post meatloaf. <laughs> the Pete Meatloaf can't even play in any Hollywood fantasy football leagues because he's won them all. Right, he's been banished. Because <laughs> <laughs> he won them all. <laughs> all right, well, yeah, that's that's exciting. We're halfway to midseason Meatloaf. We Week sure four are. review here. So, all right. Uh, shall we move on? Yeah. 